my friends welcome back to my channel and welcome to a special video that I've been getting a ton of questions on so are you struggling to lose weight on WW freestyle do you feel like the zero point foods are literally the death of you the death of your weight loss causing you not to lose weight the way that you expected well I am here to help my friends I have the secret to WW freestyle and zero point foods so if you want to hear what that secret is and how to find out all of the juicy details then just stay tuned so a few months ago I put out a video talking about WW freestyle the zero point foods and what I have created that I follow which is called the two two one method I'm going to link the video down in the description box where I talked about freestyle it is titled help I'm not losing weight on WW freestyle and in that video I talked about a lot of the reasons why you may not be seeing the results that you want to see when it comes to freestyle but I specifically talked about my method it is called the two two one method and that is what I follow to ensure that not only I'm not overeating the zero point foods I'm not overeating my calories but I'm able to see a loss on the scale when it comes to the WW freestyle program. So I shared a lot of information in that video about my 221 method, but I still to this day get a ton of questions with more clarification on exactly what the 221 method is. How do I track the zero point foods? Because if you track a banana, it comes up zero. So how do you track it to give it points? So I am here today to share with you the secret behind my 221 method and how it will help you not overeat the zero point foods, how to not overeat the zero point foods, how to track those foods, and how to lose weight on freestyle. So let's get right in to the first part of the 221 method. So the bottom line of the 221 method is this I allow myself two zero point fruits per day, two zero point proteins per day and one zero point grain per day. So what does that mean and how do I figure it out? So first let's talk about fruits. Fruit is delicious. Fruit is sweet. It is in season right now. I mean, it's a lot of the fruit is coming to an end that's in season, but fruit is available all year, all year long. Is fruit good for you? Yes. Should you be eating fruit? Yes. Can you overeat fruit? Yes. Just because fruit is sweet and delicious and good for you doesn't mean that it doesn't contain natural sugar so in my opinion you can easily overeat fruit fruit still has calories and again fruit does have naturally occurring sugar now there are some fruits that are better for you than other fruits so berries blueberries blackberries raspberries those fruits have a lower glycemic index than fruits such as bananas melons grapes but they all still have reoccurring sugar that's natural in them. They all still have calories. They all spike your blood sugar. They all do the same basic thing to your body. So in my opinion, in order to be successful on freestyle, you should not overeat fruit. So with that, I allow myself two pieces per day. I usually have a fruit with breakfast and a fruit with lunch. Now, does that mean that I can't have any more fruit throughout the day? Nope, I can but I track it and we're going to get into the a little bit later in the video on how to track zero point foods. Okay. Two fruits per day. The, the second other. part of the two, two, one method is two zero point proteins a day. So that is things such as chicken, fish, eggs, Greek yogurt, anything that is slated as a protein that is zero points. I do not allow myself to track more than two per day as zero points. So for example, if I have eggs for breakfast and chicken for lunch, if I choose to have chicken for dinner, I track it. Otherwise, I'm going to be choosing a protein that has points, red meat, pork chops, that type of thing. And I'm going to track those points accordingly. So I allow myself two zero point proteins a day. And the one of the method is one zero point starch a day. So this is beans, corn, peas. Those are the primary starches that I allow myself one per day. Again, can I have more than one per day? Absolutely. I just have to track it. So let's go back over exactly what the 221 method is. And then I'm going to tell you how I track my zero point foods. I allow myself two proteins that are zero points per day, two fruits that are zero points per day, and one zero point starch. That is it. Two protein, two fruit, one starch. That is the 221 method in a nutshell. So, 
how do you track those extra zero point foods? So let's say that my typical day consists of eggs for breakfast, and in my lunch, I have some sort of chicken. So that means that I've eaten my two free proteins in the day. So what happens when dinner rolls around? Let's say that I don't have on my menu something that involves red meat or a pointed protein. And let's say that for dinner, I want chicken or I want chicken in some sort of fashion for dinner. So in order to track it, if I just look up boneless, skinless chicken breast in the app, it's gonna tell me it's zero points. So in order to track it, what you have to do, and this is the question that I get the most. I'm not kidding, I've probably had this question 500 times since I posted my video. You have to go into the calculator on the app and you have to enter in the nutritional information. So you're going to enter in the saturated fat, the protein, the sugar, all of the components into the calculator. And based on that information, it is going to give you a smart points value. So as you know, 120 calories typically is anywhere from three to four points. So by putting in the components of the calories in a food, in a zero point food, it's going to tell you the smart points. So I'm gonna put insert a clip here of me inputting the nutritional information of an egg into the app. So you're gonna see here that I'm gonna enter all of the different pieces into the calculator. So I'm entering my saturated fat, my sugar, my protein, everything that Weight Watchers asks us to enter to determine the amount of points in things. You can see here that an egg tracks as two smart points. So I'm going to put two smart points into my tracker for that extra egg that I ate. So anytime that I am eating more than my two, two, one of zero point foods, I go into my calculator, I enter the nutritional information and whatever points it pops up, that's what I track. Now, can I track that as an egg? No, because an egg is slated as zero in the app. So I will either do a quick add and just title it egg and put it in as two points. You can also just select another item that is two points in the list of two point foods in the calculator. So whatever is easier for you, whatever helps your tracking and whatever helps you know what you've tracked and eaten that day. So that's the trick to track zero point food. So I'm gonna insert another example here for you of another food that I've tracked on my tracker that is zero point foods and another example of how I determine the points value. So I'm entering all the information. It's going to pop up the number of smart points for that particular food based solely off of the nutritional information. And then I'm going to quick add that food and add it into my day. So hopefully that helps you guys with how to track zero point foods. Lastly, before I go, I want to just do another recap of exactly what my 221 method is and how you track zero point foods. So, two zero point fruits a day, two zero point proteins a day, one zero point starch. Anything above and beyond that, you use the calculator and you figure out the smart points and you track it. That way, you're doing several things. Number one, you're not overeating your zero point foods because zero points does not mean zero calories. And number two, you're just keeping a better handle on the number of calories that you're consuming in a day. And this is another question that I get a lot. Where do I see the calories? So if you track an egg, you open up your tracker and you tracked an egg for breakfast, go ahead and click on the egg and scroll down and you will see the macros for an egg. So it all automatically calculates the calories. You would just have to manually add them up to determine the number of calories that you are consuming in a day. Unfortunately, Weight Watchers app doesn't do that for you. And I hope that's something that they change down the road when they develop a new program or put tweaks on the freestyle program. I'm hoping that there's a way to not only just track your points, but also track your calories as well, all in the app. So that's my 221 method. That's how you track zero point foods. This is the secret to being successful on freestyle and not overeating the zero point foods. Thank you for joining me on today's video. I hope that that clarified a little bit more on my 221 method and most importantly how to track the zero point foods i literally get that question all 
the time. And also the little tip on how to look up the calories. And what I will do, if you notice in my what I eat in a day videos, I always include the calories and I pull that information directly out of the app. And then at the end of the day, I just add up all my meals calories. And that is how I determine the number of calories that I ate. So it's a good way to just kind of double check yourself, double check your quantities of zero point foods. Just every so often, double check the calories that you're eating and just make sure they're within your range for your weight. And that just helps you stay on track. It helps you lose weight a little bit faster and it helps you be a little bit more successful on the WW Freestyle program. I am a WW girl at heart. I love the program. It's sustainable. It's a lifelong program for me. It isn't just a diet or a short-term short solution. So you will never see this channel steer away from WW. I'm excited for any changes that they bring to us. Revolutionary. They do a ton of research. Whatever changes they bring, there's a reason and a method to their madness. So I hope that this helps you with freestyle. Please, in the comments below, ask any questions that you have any clarification that you need. I'm absolutely 100% here to help you. And this, my friends, is the secret to being a little more successful on the WW Freestyle program. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. If you're new, I would love it if you would take a moment and just subscribe, hit that little bell. That way you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thumbs up this one. And again, comment down below with any questions you have or any clarification. I'm here to help you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, the original video is also linked down in the description box if you want a little bit more on my help I'm not losing on freestyle tips and tricks. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.